Thank you for joining this quick implementation and troubleshooting screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. Omnichannel has two routing options for incoming work, which determine what queue the work items go into. Items are then pushed to agents who are assigned to that queue. The two options are least active and most available. Let's take a look at what each option means and then some examples of each one. With the least active option, incoming work items are routed to the agent with the least amount of open work. When work items all consume one capacity, the agent with the lowest number of work items receives incoming work. Let's look at an example scenario where agents have work with varying capacity impacts. Here are two agents, Agent A and Agent B. Each agent has an overall capacity of five. Agent A has three active work items, each with a capacity impact of one, so a total capacity of three. Agent B has one active work item with a capacity impact of four, so a total of four. Because Agent A has a lower capacity impact than Agent B, incoming work items are routed to Agent A. With the most available option, incoming work items are routed to the agent with the greatest difference between work item capacity and open work items. Capacity is determined by the presence configuration that, that the agent is assigned to. Let's look at an example of this scenario with our two agents. Like before, Agent A and Agent B each have an overall capacity of five. Agent A has three active work items, while Agent B has one. Because Agent B has the most open capacity, incoming work items are routed to Agent B. Notice that in this scenario, capacity weight is not considered. And that's it. For more information, go to help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.